Okay, five pounds from over the Rio Grande Valley, 956. We're here at Rolos Boxing Gym in McAllen, Texas with Manny Hernandez, a.k.a. Pac-Man. Manny, how are you feeling today, man? I feel good. Uh, another day at the office. Very cool. Awesome, man. Back in October 27th, you had your pro debut. I must say, man, that walking was fire. The the trunks, the hair, the all, the pink, it was fire, man. How did you feel going into the ring? I felt good. I felt excited. I mean, coming from the amateurs, I had never like stepped in a ring like that. All the fans, uh, the sparkling going up, it was it was awesome. Everyone's uh, cheering for me and stuff. So it was it was great. I, I felt excited. Let's talk about the fight. You had you won a unanimous decision. What did you learn from that fight? I uh, just learned uh, to keep my hands up. You know, it's it's not no heavier no more. So gotta protect myself, and I, I learned a, a more powerful version of me that I hadn't seen in the amateurs. So we are moving on from from the amateurs and getting stronger and close. With that experience, you have your second fight the 24th of February against a tough fighter from Matamoros. Um, you don't have to reveal any game plan, but what kind of strengths do you feel like you bring into this second fight? Uh, my speed, my speed that can help me out is going to be one of the keys to winning. Um, my sharp jab, we're working on that. Uh, we, we hope to, to take us to, to the win. And overall, my speed and equals the power too. We know that press conferences are just to build up the fight and whatnot, but he had a demeanor. I'm, I don't want to like start anything, but he had a demeanor like he was locked in on you. Even though it was just a press conference, you know, just for the press, but he was locked in on you, man. What was your thoughts going through your head when you saw that? Oh, I mean, uh, every every fighter prepares to win, obviously, right? But I just feel like we're gonna prepare more. Uh, he can say what he needs to say, right, in the press conference. At the end of the day, uh, I do the talking inside the ring. You've been with Rolos for a very long time. Sure. Talk about how they've helped you as a fighter and as a person outside of the ring. Yeah, I've been with Rolos uh, about a little over five years. Um, it's been great. I mean, they have taken me out of a ton of tournaments. It's been great experience, you know. I, uh, I got in a really high level uh, in the amateurs real quick. Stars, I was had three fights, we'd be sparring with people with 40 fights, me. so they really helped me out as a person, be responsible, uh, and they helped me grow as a fighter, you know. Everything I know is thanks to Rolos, uh, Coach Rolo, Coach Maya, I really want to thank, give, give them a thank, because without them I wouldn't be standing here today. What can we expect February 24th from your performance? February 24th, you're going to see fireworks for sure. I can show you that. We're going in uh, really strong, fast, you know, looking for that win. No matter what happens in there, we're going to come up with the win. Any shout outs you want to give to anybody before we conclude? I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Divine Beauty Clinic, HH, uh, GMG Constructions. Uh, one of the money, I just want to give uh, everyone that helps me out. Shout out, you know, and my fans, get ready for a show. October 20, February 24th, we come in. Real quickly, man, Pac Man, where does that name come from? Your nickname? My speed. Yeah. Uh, in the amateurs, I would always uh, be, I was super fast, and I would never be like standing. I was always moving, so uh, Coach Man was like, no, he, he kind of reminded me of a version of Nanny Pac, Nanny Pacquiao, because he's always like on his toes, jumping, and uh, moving fast, so that's where I got the name, but I don't want to completely copy him, right? so Nanny Pac. That's very monumental, man. That's a very high compliment. Manny, thank you so much for your time, man.